not all console hacking has to be involved on a console. Uh, I like getting console hard hardware interface to my computer, so why the hell not? In my hands, I have a PlayStation 2 iToy USB webcam. Now, you can get this working under Windows, Linux, and OS X. Now, if you're working under Linux and OS X, I'll assume that all you really needed to know is that the PlayStation 2 iToy works. If you're running Windows, you probably need a little bit more help seeing that you're running Windows. Plus, for the most part, most of us run Windows anyway. Now, why would you want to get one of these things? Well, one, they're really cheap nowadays. Uh, I get mine between six and eight dollars at the used video game stores. Uh, I think you can get them for about twelve to fifteen dollars online. Uh, reason number two, it actually, actually has a built-in microphone, so if you're doing it for any kind of voice or video conferencing, you don't even need to wear a microphone. Uh, another thing I like about it, it has manual focus on the front and it's got very nice focus. It works relatively well in low light, which is a very big problem I've had if you notice in a lot of the earlier episodes that uh, when I was using my older camera, everything looked too dark, and even that was even with lighting. Like right now, I've got lights up, and it's still too dark in here. I just don't like a lot of bright lights. This works relatively okay in low light. And on the front, there's a blue LED and a red LED. The blue LED shows you that it's plugged in, and it's actually working and synced with your computer. The red LED shows you that it's actually active and currently probably recording or otherwise in use. Now, most people don't like that feature. I like it primarily because, you know, Sometimes I'll be on a video conference and you know some one of my friends' wives or girlfriends that are extremely obese walks through without a top on. I don't want to see that shit. I really don't. You know, God forbid, you know, your computer gets attacked, viral, you know, VNC exploit, you know, what have you, and they turn on your camera and you don't know. You have no idea what kind of footage they're going to get of you. So typically, I put something over my camera so I know that it's you know even if you did get in, you're not going to see anything. But with this, you can also see a nice big red LED showing that it is recording. So if people don't want to be in the background of whatever you're video conferencing, they know when the red light's on, stay away from the camera. So, all right, so we're going to get to the PC side. This is actually fairly easy. Uh, you can actually go online and just download the pre-hacked drivers. There's really not much to it, but I like doing things myself. Let's go to the PC side and get this thing working. The first thing you want to do is get your ass to google.com and look for the PlayStation 2 or PS2 iToy driver. There's a lot of information online, and we're just going to go to the first result that we've got, and it's Anders Jacobson's blog, and he has an in-detail tutorial on exactly what you need to do. I'm not really going to cover it if you have the intelligence of a fourth grader, and any way you can read, you should be able to follow this word for word, fully illustrated. He explains that this is actually based off of a D-Link DSB C310 uh, Omnivision series webcam. You can get the drivers from the D-Link FTP, driver FTP. You go about and you extract the drivers to whatever folder you want to on your desktop. Load the driver file, which is ov519.inf into WordPad, which I've already done. And using file, replace, or hitting control H on your keyboard, you can go ahead and replace certain values with other values. As explained, you're going to have to either replace it with, uh, you're going to have to replace key VID underscore 05 A9 ampersand PID underscore 8519 with one of two alternate values depending on whether you have either a Logitech or a Namtai hardware. So once you go ahead and do that, save your drivers, go ahead and install them. Now, they have uh, this uh, amcap.exe, which will allow you to test the webcam. So once you go, you can hit devices, go to the iToy, and there you can see the iToy. And using the manual focus, you can either get a really nice close-up shot, or you can get a nice pull-out shot. Now, going back to the actual camera for a second, like as, as I've stated, it's got the red LED showing that it's actually recording, and it's got the blue LED to show that it's actually on and working. So, uh, this takes all about maybe five minutes to do. I see no reason why not to. If you can find the iToy, go for it. I uh, hope this was informational in the least, and, and if you have any questions or comments, you can always hit Google. You can always catch me on IRC or on the forums, or I'll put some links in the show notes. There really isn't much to this, so meh. Have fun.